We don't have a whole lot of time to be able to try and get the great one before the new map comes out. So we're going to try really hard and hopefully we get them. Looks like we'll be starting off with a small white tail buck right here at about 217. But then there's a beautiful buck right there at 220. We don't have a good shot. So I'm going to try and take a shot on this buck in hopes that this buck turns broadside and gives us a nice follow up shot. All right, here we go. Ooh. I messed that shot up. I don't exactly know how, but somehow I messed that shot up. I mean, in all honesty, like I'd say we shot right below the heart. I would honestly say we had to have shot right below that heart. All right, here's this buck. And then this buck is over here. Let's find out. I mean, are you kidding me? I'll tell you what, if you guys would have bet, <laughs> you would have won. Because I sat a half inch below the heart, right? We're a half inch to the right side of the heart. <laughs> Not even a half inch. That's like, I mean, that's hitting the heart. We actually shot through the heart with a 308 AR. There is no way around that. The fact that that did not hit the edge of the heart. So you see this massive flock of mallard ducks right out here. Look at how tightly close together they're compacted out here. They're only 150 yards out, but we have both ARs. We have the AR-223. Oh, well, we actually have both AR-223s. What you want to do is wait until they all start crossing past. And then what you should do is try and switch back to your main AR, but in this case here. I shot a little bit too fast. Still did pretty good though. I'm sure we got quite a few down. Don't worry. Don't you worry about that one. Ooh, what a Adam too. What Adam if I had one more bullet left. Woo! Got him. Drake Mallard is down. Dude, imagine if I could hit that one up there. Big mallard duck. Oh, we got him. That is a lot of ducks piled up here. As you can see, we got three of them all from on the water right there. And then we got a bunch more stacked up all along this coastline over here. You can see there's one stacked up right over there. I just saw, but let's pick them up. All right, this could be kind of fun actually because it's gonna be like a little scavenger hunt here to try and find all of our ducks. Nice Drake Mallard duck there. And got a rare piebald hen. That's pretty cool. And then I know we for surely got two more down over here. All right, here's one piled up right here. Should be a Drake. Yes, it is a Drake. 14.9. This duck that we shot over here, I'm going to say is probably 300 plus yards out. It was a long, long ways. And if you look at the hunter mate here, you can see way back over there. Holy, we're already 300 yards. That might be a 400 yard shot on this duck. And if it is, that would be our farthest shot of all time on a duck. Oh my God, there it is right over here. Let's have a look at this Drake Mallard duck and see if we broke 400, 400 plus yards, 408 yards on the fly with the AR-223, 17.9. It was a pretty nice size one as well, but I'll definitely take that. What a heck of a shot, 400 yards with the AR-223 is a long, long ways. I've been getting asked this question quite often recently, and the question is, what am I most excited about to hunt on the new map, Reventuli Coast? And to be honest, the answer to that question would be 
the bean goose. I am super excited about hunting the bean goose because one, it's a new species and two, it kind of reminds me of like the snow goose. I've never actually hunted snow geese in real life, but one, I'd really, really love to hunt them someday. And two, uh, my dad's hunted them and both of my brothers have, and it just looks like a ton of fun. So to be able to hunt the bean goose is gonna be just pretty incredible. I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. And uh, I forgot that I never reloaded both of our ARs here. And I also realized that we have the AR-223, so we're gonna have to make this shot pretty prestige in order to make this happen. Oh, 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 there's another good buck back there. I can't spot it though. But we're gonna go for this shot right here. Here we go. Put a follow up in him as well. Let's see if it connected. Uh oh. All right, let's give a little test out here on this white tail buck. He's about 195 out there, pretty broadside. And I'm thinking we should be able to drop him right on the spot. Yep, just like that. I do believe he's the only buck here. However, I did see a couple of big bucks in this area in the past. So I want to make sure that, that we don't see like a monster white tail running off in the distance here somewhere. Yeah, I'm mainly looking forward to hunting for the bean geese, but not solely by themselves. What I'm looking forward to is hunting for bean geese while we're actually hunting for mallard and teal. Tried to pull off a heart shot on that second shot there. Couldn't quite pull it off, but we definitely did get a vital hit. But I mean, how exciting is it going to be to be able to hunt for mallard ducks and teal and golden eye and tough duck all while sitting in one of those layout blinds that floats in the water and next thing you know, you hear some geese coming, right? So you have Canadian geese and then you have the bean geese. It's going to be super, super incredible to be just sitting out there um, you know, laying on your back, calling, looking up in the sky, and then you hear the geese coming, right? You already have ducks landing on the water in front of you. Next thing you know, you have geese coming. So you wait, and what you're gonna do is wait for the geese to come break, and once the geese start coming down, you go take them. And what you do is you take the geese first in the sky, and then all the ducks are gonna fly up off the water, and then you're gonna be able to take them as well. So it's gonna be just an absolute blast. And yeah, that's why I'm mostly looking forward to hunting for the bean geese.